Welcome to today's session. Uh, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm happy to be with you today because today is a hands on live session, which means that you're going to be doing things. And what you're going to do is the continuation of what we did yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about engaging students with the web quest. And today you're going to start creating your web quest. So I see that uh, most of you were not here yesterday. So uh, this is really exciting because uh, you're going to have a chance to uh, do things. And um, let me just get rid of my, there we go. A chance to do things connected to WebQuest. Just to get an idea, if you can write in the chat box uh, where you're from and your experience or lack of experience with what's called a web quest. So I'm not sure whether you watched the recording from yesterday on to learn to blend and flip with technology, which is the course that uh, has online live sessions every week on Saturday at this time. Yesterday was an extra session we had five sessions in January. So Poonam says no experience, but I'm sure you will get it really fast, Poonam, because I know that you're very, very uh, motivated and that is uh, the best way to go. And Thomas says that he, no connection. Yes, yeah, I, I realize that you must have had no connections. I'm sorry you missed it. But we're going to not talk about WebQuest today. We are going to talk more about them next week and throughout the month. So this is actually the month where you get a chance to create a web quest and try it out with your students, whether face-to-face -face or online. So you could add in the chat box uh, whether you are a teacher. A little bit about your background. Do you teach online? Do you teach face-to-face? -face? Do you teach adults? Do you teach kids? Would you like to be a teacher and you're not a teacher? Everything you can in the chat box so that this is not being recorded through YouTube. So uh, this will not appear on YouTube. The only thing you'll see on YouTube are the screenshots that I'm going to be going through with Camtasia. All right, so that's what you'll see right now. You will not be publicly viewed and only people in this class will get a chance to see the recording. So you're pretty safe as far as uh, I can assure. All right, we've also got um, WizIQ support, but I really don't think that we need the support since I'm not going to be screen sharing. Right now, they're working on a screen sharing feature for Macs because Java has messed up along with... Um, Safari and the Macs has messed up the screen sharing apparatus. So the only way you can get screen sharing is through your Windows PC and not through your Macs. Okay, this is just an aside and I'm using a Mac right now. So that's um, a bit of a, an issue. So let's see. And as well, uh, a little bit about you. Chicago starting to teach. That's excellent, Asen. That's wonderful. And your special ed. Great. And we've got face to face with a few online classes. Teenagers. Oh, that's wonderful. Economy to teenagers. That is so useful. That's a real life topic. Very authentic. And we've got Japanese and English speakers of Spanish. And we're talking about 16 plus. Okay, anyone else would like to share? Feel free to share as you come in. If you're not a teacher and you'd like to be a teacher, that's great. Because actually everyone can be a teacher these days. And most people are, and they don't even realize it. When they share information in their social networks, they're actually teaching others. Okay, so sharing information is one aspect of teaching. There's much more, of course. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, my name is Nellie Deutsch, and I am an education technology practitioner, ETP. I just made it up. And uh, what I do is I use technology. I don't just talk about it. I use it. 
okay and uh, practitioner because I practice as I go I'm also a learning engager Anel Lee for short which uh, actually rhymes with my name Nelly so a learner engager is also something that I coined it's someone who engages learners of all ages and I also give um, courses on how to use Moodle both face-to-face -face and online and how to use WizIQ these live online classes so uh, we can get started you're an LD fan <laughs> That's cute, Thomas. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. Are you ready, by the way? Are you ready to get your hands working here? You're going to be uh, doing a lot of work today. So um, I see someone got kicked out. So support is here. Maybe you can help this uh, person. If you, have, if you need help at any time, just feel free to um, ask for support at was IQ they are doing an amazing job supporting everyone and it's a good way to learn how to improve the system okay so first of all for those who missed some of the classes don't know what a web quest is it's a lesson using websites so it's a lesson that a teacher organizes for students or learners or participants whatever you want to call those that you uh, help out using websites now when I say websites what do you think of okay this is an old word I don't even know if we use it anymore so when you think of websites what do you think of what comes to mind when you think of websites please make sure the internet connection is stable how do you do that you mean not move okay so what do you think of when you think of websites blogs I knew you were gonna say that I knew somebody was gonna say that well blogs are websites but let's put blogs and wikis and Moodle websites and aside web pages all right thank you delang can you think of a website without it being a blog or a wiki or anything else investigating and using templates you mean web templates so a website is actually a domain a domain with an ending or if you want to call it words that have a dot com or words that have dot net or things like that okay it's a link it's the link that takes you someplace but a website is actually a domain an ending and um, pages that go with it okay so actually a blog is a kind of website a Moodle is a kind of website all right, so we're thinking of the old kind of websites before blogs. Does anybody remember that period before blogs when there were just websites a long time ago? So when, asks, when someone asks you, please uh, write down your website, they don't mean your blog, they mean your website. Okay, so if you think of WizIQ, WizIQ is a website. Okay, here is my one of my websites. I created it using, but I'll put something nice on it. I created it using a HTML from scratch. And in those days, there were no blogs. What you'll see after the .com, you'll see a star.gif, which will show you an image. So I can take my raw website, and then I can add pages to it and that's how it's done so we don't want to use websites what is wrong with a website that has a domain <clears throat> like nellymuller.com what is wrong with it any ideas that's it Thomas you got it what does that mean timeout are you going bye-bye timeout Well, for one thing, every year you have to pay 
for the domain and you have to host it and you have to pay money and if you don't pay money you lose it that's right so if you don't make sure that you pay the domain every year because it's only rented and that you host it, you lose it. And that's what happens with WebQuest. A lot of WebQuests that were there, and if you um, go into my website, you'll see this too. A lot of WebQuests, and if you write the word WebQuest, you'll get lots of WebQuests, and some of them will be nothing. There'll be nothing there. It'll say doesn't exist or things like that. All right. So make sure that you do not use a website for a web quest because you're going to waste your time and other people are going to be frustrated because it's going to disappear. Your hard work is going to disappear and you want your work to stay for as long as possible. Now, how many of you think that Google is about to go bankrupt? Do you think Google is going to disappear in the near future? Any thoughts on that? Probably not. So why not use Google, which is completely free, and create your web quest or your website on their blogs? Okay, that's one thing. So a web quest has six main parts. It has an introduction where the teacher introduces the project or the lesson. And then there are tasks where the teacher tells the students what they will do in teams of four or more. Four is the, the best. So you will be the newspaper reporter. You will be the policeman. You will be uh, the fireman. And you will be the lady who... Uh, got robbed or whatever whose house was on fire in other words you give everybody a role or they decide on a role and you tell them what they will have to do by the end of the web quest and then you tell them how they're going to do it you give them instructions through the process so you give them one two three very very systematic very teacher controlled and then you give them the websites that they will have to visit. Now you have to make sure that these websites exist. And you have to make sure that they will stay around for a while. So how do you know what website's going to stay around and what isn't? Okay, it's not easy, all right? So you have to find websites that will stick around for a while. Okay, is when you give them the resources, because otherwise your web quest is going to be obsolete at some point if the resources disappear. They don't exist anymore. Okay, so you have to make sure that the resources are reliable and they will stay. If you give resources from Harvard University, I'm sure they will stay for a while. But if you give resources from a website that I created or somebody created, we don't know how long it's going to be there. So make sure the resources that you share with your students are reliable and good resources. Next, evaluation. You're going to tell your students exactly how you're going to evaluate them. And it's up to you. And then, of course, you're going to ask them to conclude the process that they had gone to. Your students will also present their work at the end. Okay, I didn't add this here, but I mentioned yesterday. Okay, which is really, really important. The presentation. They'll talk about the process the end results, and present their work. And this is the blogger. Have any of you uh, seen a blogger before? Do you know what a blogger is? Any ideas? What is a blogger? Let's see what answers you come up with. What's a blogger? Now, you notice a blogger has a few uh, meanings. It's not just one. Okay, so let's see. What's a blogger? A diary. It could be. It's a person who writes a blog. Exactly. A blogger is someone who writes a blog. But it's also, I have a blog page on blogger. Exactly. Okay, so blogger is also a, uh, a blog 
generator from Google. It's called, instead of calling it Google Blogger, they call it Blogger or Blogstop or... Okay, this is a Google Blogger. In other words, if you go into Google, how many of you have Google accounts? Gmail. I think this is also important. Do you have a Gmail account? Okay, I see that Asen has. Okay, Dalin has. It's important to have one, otherwise you won't be able to do this, so maybe you can get one. But in some countries, you can have one. So if you can have it in your country, let me know. All right, and then we can find another solution. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to, and I'll come back to this, you're going to create a new blog, like it says here. Okay, a new blog. Do you all see it? You're going to go into Blogger, and let me um, see if I can take you there to Blogger. Okay, by writing blog blogger.com or blogger, whatever country you're in, because sometimes it's blogger CA in my country, it could be blogger IN in your country. Usually it's it the ending looks like it's from your country, but actually it's not. It just looks that way. But when I open it, I'll see CA. When you open it, you'll see whatever country you're in. Okay, that's what Google does. So there's a blogger with .com. Okay, if you go into that, it'll allow you to create a new blog. If you go into your Gmail account, you'll be able to see this on your Gmail account. And I think I've showed you this before. It's all part of your uh, Google account. Okay, which means that if you go to your Gmail, it'll open up. Let's see if I can do that now. And you'll see everything there. It's just amazing how um, Google is trying very hard to make everything er evolve around Google. It's going to be Google. Are you Google or are you something else? And most of us will probably be Google people. So if you go into your uh, Google account, you'll see the blogger. You'll see the icon of the blogger right there. Okay, so what you should do is simply click on the blogger and the rest will follow. Okay, so you click on that. Does it work? Did it work for you? You want to try it now and see if it's working for you? Just open it up. See what happens when you're on a in a WizIQ class, if you click on something, it'll open another window for you, so you're not going to lose WizIQ. So don't worry, you can always come back, you'll see uh, the WizIQ class either at the top or at the bottom. Okay, so you're on Blogger. Excellent. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to create a new blog and the title. In the title area, you'll be adding the name, but don't worry about it because you can change it at any time, all the time, whenever you want to. Now the address, you decide what you want to call it. And if it's available, like a domain name, you'll get it. So I created a blog called Create a Web Quest. And the address, the link address is Create Web Quest. And you see, there's a tick here, which means that it's available. And then you go down here and you create the blog. That's how easy it is. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Next, this is what you'll see. Very complicated. And I hope that Google will consider people that do not like complicated things and make it simpler. But it is complicated until you get to know it. There's lots of information here. So if you think Moodle is complicated or anything else is complicated, there's nothing more complicated than Google. All right, so take a look at the left, okay? And you'll see that it has overview, posts, pages. What you should do is go into pages. Now, why go into pages? Because you're going to create a page for each one of your 
WebQuest pages. Okay, remember there are six main ones, and that's what you're going to do. So let me get some color here. Okay, so go into Pages for now. You'll get to know the system later on. There's enough to know there. Okay, so once you go into Pages in Number 1, you're going to go into Number 2. So you click on Number 1, and then you get prompted with Number 2 New Page. So what you need to do is give it a name. What's going to be, you can move them around afterwards. So it doesn't matter if you start with conclusion and then you put conclusion last and not first. So remember where you're going. You're going to add a page for each one of your, of these pages. Okay, so one is going to be a page for introduction, a page for task, a new page for the process, a new page for resources, which are the links, a page for evaluation, and a page for conclusion. Okay, next. And notice here that this means that you can move things. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but you'll be able to move things up and down okay so it should be quite easy if you made a mistake home is your posts okay home means it's post but you can change the name too by going into edit all right next oh you did the title very good josephina excellent all right once you do that you need to give very good you need to give the page a title and like i said introduction task process resources, evaluation, and conclusion. But don't forget, this is what it will look like. Isn't this wonderful? You have HTML here. You can use that to embed stuff. You can also use the compose. You can add links, images. Okay, you've got a rich editor here. And notice the description. This is the white area where you'll add your description and you can change it. Don't forget, don't be afraid to make mistakes because you'll be able to change things as you go. So making mistakes is perfectly normal and perfectly fine when it comes to online work. So make mistakes, that's fine. All right, so let me just uh, start you off with that. Let's see how you're doing. Okay, so far, and I'm going to share, since I don't have screen sharing, I'm going to share this with you in the chat box. This is what I'm going to be working on, and you tell me what that means. Okay, what does it mean if I have my blog, what does it mean? There's nothing there, absolutely nothing there, right? Okay, now I'm going to work on it and you'll see me as I work. So please go there and you'll see the changes that I go through. Okay, so first of all, I'll speak as I do this. I'm going to go into pages like I showed you. And I'm going to add a new page. I'm going, it's going to be called blank page. Okay, that's what I choose, not a, a link but something called blank page. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call this introduction. And then I'm not going to add anything to it right now. I'll do that later. Okay, and then I'm going to publish it. On the right, it says publish. Okay, so you can see it. Next, I'm going to the next page. Not a post, I'm not adding a post. I'm adding blank pages and giving them a name. So the next one I'm going to write is task. And I'll click on the save or publish. Next, I'm going to add another new page and I'm going to call this one process. Okay, that's the process and publish it. Next, I'm gonna add another page and I'm gonna call it blank and give it the blank a name and I'm gonna call this resources and publish it. The publish is on the right, it's in orange. And then I have one more, no, two more actually. I'm gonna call this one 
evaluation okay and publish it oops i think i made a spelling mistake oh i did oh my gosh okay so i'm going to go into edit and evaluation is misspelled there okay so i fixed it and then it's not going to say published it's going to say update okay and the last page that i'm going to add blank give it a name i'm going to call this one conclusion oops conclusion i'm going to publish it now on the right it'll ask me okay i have everything save arrangement it's also in orange i'm going to click on save arrangement and now i'm going to ask you okay let me okay it's saving saving it saved it okay now i'm going to ask you to go to my blog again what i shared with you and tell me oh, what you see And you should see absolutely nothing. You should see this exact same thing. Okay, because there's something wrong. There's something missing here. So I'm going to go back by going into the top right called design. And I'm going to go back into the pages. But this time I'm going to go to the left into the layout. There's something wrong with my layout because my pages do not show. Okay, so this is the layout. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. And I want the pages to be on top. And they're not on top right now. And it says don't show. When I go into show pages, it says don't show. So I'm going to click on top tabs. Top tabs. You'll see this on uh, Facebook. On uh, Facebook, I just got a message. On um, YouTube. Now you should, I'm going to save the arrangement and tell me what you see now. Click on my blog again and tell me what you see. Okay, above no post. But you know what, I'll add a post just to say hello. I'm going to add a new post. Okay, so where do I find the new post? By going to the left, it says new post in orange. And here I'm going to say, hello, everybody. Are you ready? All right. So I'm going to say, hello. Hello, fellow web questers. Okay, that's it. You should be able to see that now. So I'll have something. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to share it with the world. Why not? Okay, I don't have to, but I will. Okay. Now tell me what you see. Okay, please refresh and tell me what you view in the blog. And notice, there we go. All right, so there, I've showed everything. All right, so now I'm back into class. I was just showing you so that you can see this as I share this on YouTube after this class. So there's the link again. You see the message? Yes. Do you see the top tab? Introduction task, process, resources, and so on. So you should be able to see all the parts of a web quest. So the first tab, now these are pages. So introduction is page, task is a page, process, resource. Okay, six pages at the top. You can have more later on. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. That's how easy it is just to set it up. Okay, next. Next, you want to share this with your students and you want to give them the information in such a way that it's exciting. So you can create PowerPoint presentations and give the instructions with MoveNote. How many of you are familiar with MoveNote? If you could just add that. Are you familiar with MoveNote? If you're not, you're going to be. Okay, there's the link to MoveNote. If you don't have an account, I suggest you create one. There we go. There's MoveNote. MoveNote used to be part of Google. Now it's completely independent, but you can use it with your Google account. You don't have to. So you can go straight into, oh, you did it. Okay, Josephina. So you're the, you're an expert. 
that's great that's great all right so you're going to be here later on when we talk about the activities on well not the active the blocks on moodle today's going to be a really exciting uh session because you're going to become managers right now i've uh, closed the doors to the managers okay great i'm glad you're familiar with it wonderful all right so you have accounts how many of you do not have an account on move note you have not signed up okay give me a thumbs up if you have not signed up Oh, you're using it with Google. You might want to use it on its own. I find it a lot better to use MoveNote. You can use it together because it asks you to add your PowerPoint presentation or your content either from your computer or from Google Drive. But you have the up. Uh, okay, so Josefina, create an account. Okay, there's the link. You can copy the chat at the end and uh, you'll have the links there. Plus, I added the PowerPoint presentation where all the images on the slides are clickable. Okay, so let me share that with you. There's a tutorial. I see I've added it twice. Okay, let's see if I can copy it and add it again. Nope, I'm not able to copy it for some reason. But can you see what I added at the very top? I don't know why. I can. Let me try again. Okay, I'm going to try to add it again. There, I succeeded. Okay, so there's the tutorial. This is the PowerPoint that you see on the whiteboard. And if you click on all of these images, you'll get the link to the different places. Okay, so... Um, So you have, but you also have this on the Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology class, okay? All the tutorials are there, okay? So let me share the link with you if you don't have the link to, um, to the course, okay? And everybody is welcome to the course, okay? It's a completely free course. There's the course, and in the course, you'll be able to get... Today's by going into the course where you'll get the links to the recordings of this was IQ class and classes that you may have missed in the course. There are lots of classes. The course started in November, and you can also get the link to okay to the tutorial okay where everything is there. All right, so uh, let's continue. Okay, with a slide. So we're on slide. If you go through the slides and you click on the images, it'll take you to the website. Okay, so uh, you shouldn't have any problems. What? Uh, if you're having problems, there's some information from our support person from WizIQ to help you. And uh, yes, one way is to refresh uh, the page. Another way is to uh, close all the windows like Skype and things like that. Sometimes it helps as well. Okay, so we've reached the end. Just let me know um, what you've done so far. Okay, number one, did you create a blog, a new blog, a new blog using Blogger. Okay, that's the question. Did you create a new blog using Blogger? Yes or no? Yes, Thomas has, Josefina has, Hassan has, wow, and Darlene has, who else? Okay, that's great. If you haven't, do it. All right.
that looks like it's just about everybody okay excellent Tariq welcome okay that's good next number two uh, did you create or add actually they call it add six blank pages and give them a name and name them introduction introduction task process resources evaluation and conclusion okay did you do that Okay, you need to create not yet. Okay, you need to create at least do one. Okay, SN just to make sure you're not having any problems, because afterwards you'll be able to share your questions in the course feed on WizIQ in the course. Again, um, where is the link to the course? I've got so many windows open, and I'm telling you not to have so many windows open. Okay, that just shows you. Okay, let me share the link in the course feed. The course feed is on the left. Courseware is where you have the content. Course feed is where you can start a discussion and you can ask questions. There's the course in the course feed. Yes, no, it's not called the tab asset. It's called the page. It's called blank page. Okay, it's called the page and then you choose blank. So if you go to the left of your blogger, you'll see that it says page add page and then you've got an option a blank page or a link you choose blank page i told you was a google is complicated i don't know why they make things so complicated and nobody complains to them because there's nobody to talk to you can't get support on google and yet they're so popular <laughs> without the support it just shows you. Uh, Josephina, you said you wrote different titles. Like what? No, only six titles. Introduction, task, process, resources, evaluation, inclusion. I don't think they're called titles. They're called pages. Okay, they're called pages. But you will see them on top or on the side it's up to you you will see them like tabs but they're not really tabs they look like menus and you can have sub menus under these pages okay you have to write the six titles because that's a web quest otherwise it's confusing under each page you'll have explanations what to do in the introduction what to do for the task um, the instructions to follow in the process the resources or links that you want your students to visit the evaluation how they will be evaluated through rubrics or whatever how you're going to grade them and of course conclusion that they'll have to come up with. Each one is a new page. Exactly. That's right. Each one is a new page. Very good, Estan. Estan, sorry. Okay, Josephina, you can just edit. You don't have to do it again. Very good, Estan. So you know how to do it. If you did one, the rest is the same way. It's exactly the same. Six pages, but you have to label them. So go into edit and label each page, Josefina, as introduction and so on. Okay, you can edit each of the pages. That's not a problem. Okay, number three. After you created the pages, you need to show them. If you don't show, so you have to click on show enable show or first of all you have to publish them sorry first you have to publish and enable show 
Okay, so did you publish and enable show? Even if you have one, it's okay, I said. Make sure that you publish on the top right. There's an orange that says publish. And then under pages, or just above the pages, sorry, it says show. You have to enable show or nobody will see it. You'll know it's there. And the reason Google does it, because maybe you're not ready to show, but you should show, all right? And number four, is share the link okay share the link right here so that I can take a look at it and we can see if you need help and don't be embarrassed because I think it's really important for us to share so that we can learn and improve okay so it's not really a test it's uh, a way to so let's see Asen let me go into your um, blogger you call it learning behaviorist. Okay. Now I, I, ah, very good. I see your introduction. Excellent. That's excellent. Very, very good. Well done. Okay. Let's go into a uh, dull link. I, mean, I told you this class is a uh, hands-on class. Let's see. I don't see anything here. It says, uh, does not have access to this page. Why do I ha not have access to your page? You know what? You have to share, um, the link to your blog oh i see what you did no you have to share the link to your blog the link you, you you have to say view where it says view blog view blog so click on view blog and then you'll get a link and share that link okay so view blog is thomas here or did thomas get kicked out i don't see thomas And Poonam, did you manage to do it? Maybe he lost his connection. Uh, let's see. I'm checking. Okay, so Delling, do you know what to do? Go into view blog and then share the link. Tariq, how are you doing? And Poonam, don't be afraid to share um, because it doesn't say anything about anything it just uh, to see how you're doing uh, I don't know if that's the, let me see that I see numbers there which I'm not sure about maybe you didn't give your your blog a name I understand and wish to continue you didn't give it a name <sighs> that's why it's coming out like this uh, Delling you need to give it a name your blog I think has to have a name right now your name is the name yeah you didn't finish you didn't give your blog a name you have to create a blog okay put them okay Nelly can protect few pages with login blog Nelly can protect Tariq what do you what do you mean protect Oh, you mean it wasn't published. You need to publish it to make it public. Okay, so you need to um, publish and then enable. Okay, so that's where you're stuck. And enable show so that we can see it. Okay, so Tariq, do you have your, um, your new blog? And Joseph, oh, I, I see Thomas um, has something here. Uh, let's see. I see a link by Thomas, but I don't know if it's the right one. Okay, so let me. Um, okay, my blog is called Create a Web Quest. Home is the blog post. Introduction. I'm going to introduce how to create a web quest. Okay, I'm going to add information here and I can click on edit to do this. Okay, and then I'm given this. Okay, and then I can add to my introduction page and so on. Okay, when you update, everyone will be able to see it. You can also revert to draft. Okay, there are a lot of options here 
but I hope it's not too complicated. Hello, Remish. Yes, Remish, what we're doing here is we're creating a web quest using a blogger. Okay, so the first step is to create a blog using blogger and then create the pages, a new page for the introduction, for the task, the process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. And this is advisable because using a website is not a good idea and it costs money. And at some point, it's going to probably disappear. Okay, so the idea is to create pages. First of all, they're blank and then give them a name. Okay, and a page for the introduction, a page for the task, the process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. Oh, I see what you mean, Tariq. Oh, I got it. Yes, you can. But uh, right now, for, for the sake of the practice, I wanted you to publish and make it public, and then you can work on it. Nobody's going to see it anyways. Um, yes, you can, actually, Delling. Just give it a name. Yes, yes, you can. Definitely. You can use an old blog. Well, not a page, because it's not a blog page. You need to create a new blog. I think you're confusing it. A new blog for the web quest. Create a new blog. And I showed it to you. Let me go through the slides again. Okay, if this is your blogger, you create a new blog. You click on create a new blog in your blogger account. Oh, there we've got Josephine. And then you give it a title. So you go through this process. Let's see. You called it... Okay, so... My... Oh, you're going to call it my first blog and you have the introduction. Excellent. And then you're going to continue and add the other pages, okay, for the task, the process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. Now, if you didn't know it before, you probably have it memorized by now since I've been repeating it. Okay, so first you create a new blog. You give it a name, a title. And you can always change the title, so don't worry about it. And it's okay to make a new blog. It's free. And Google doesn't mind. Okay, and then you give it a name. And it'll have a new address. Okay, so mine is called Create Web Quest. Okay, because I'm going to use that and help others. And then you create pages for the introduction, for... One for the introduction, one for the task, one for the process. Okay, so one page, you give it a name, and then it appears one under the other. And you describe it. Okay, and then you give the instructions using MoveNote. So for those of you who want to see what my uh, blog looks like, before I go anywhere, you'll see the tabs at the top. Okay, there's my blog that I just created during the session. Okay, I created it as, um, as I was talking. No, it doesn't have to be a web quest. Oh, yes, it should. It should. Yes, Putin, that's right. If Let's say if you're going to do a web quest on um, the French Revolution, Call it French Revolution Web Quest or Web Quest on the French Revolution. I'm going to call mine Web Quest on a Web Quest, but mine says Create a Web Quest. That's the name. But yes, that's a very good idea. Oh, let's see. Dilla, let's see what it looks like now. If you have at least one page. Oh, I don't see. It says Warning. Um... I think you have to create a new one. Okay, so it gives you an option of creating a new blog. Okay, you can create as many blogs as you want. You can delete them afterwards. Okay, so don't feel that everything online is, um, you know, is abundant. You don't have to worry about having only one blog. You can have a million blogs. 
there's so much out there you know why not it's not like we're using paper and we're wasting trees okay nothing's being wasted okay so feel free to create a new blog okay just like I did a new blog very easy and then you create new pages on your new blog okay so create a new blog all right and I'm looking forward to seeing the link to your blogs in the class oh we've got absen let's see I think oh my goodness you did it amazing so we've got an expert okay so that's the first stage okay Asan, that is brilliant you've got the introduction the task excellent very very good okay so you're ready to go excellent okay so we've got a model student who did it all right so as I said this session is hands-on we're doing things together so feel free to do it don't wait till the end of the lesson um, just like Asan did he he was listening and he was working on it okay so uh, this is one way of using WizIQ with your students to get them to to work as you speak it's also and then share what they did and you can give them you know points if they do nothing by the end of the session they don't get any points you can grade them according to what they do so Hassan would get a hundred okay but we've got eight more minutes so uh, you can do it in eight minutes just create a really fast um, and you can change the name of your blog create a new blog yes that's it that's right Dilling. exactly you can create as many blogs with your Gmail account as your heart desires. That's right. Okay, excellent. I'm glad you came. Does it mean creating a lesson in your blog? Yes, but no, it's a new blog. It's a blog called a web quest. So your new blog is actually a web quest. You don't have to have only one blog. You can have lots of blogs and for every web quest that you create you create a new blog because remember what we said at the beginning a blog is actually a website but it's better than a website because you don't have to pay you will never lose it as long as Google is around and um, I think it's gonna be quite a while maybe forever who knows but long enough so let's see if there are any other questions and um, what do we do with uh, the move note okay the move note is a way for you to share information with your students and get them to present their work at the end using move note so what you do with move note is you get a PowerPoint presentation together and you can do this with your students on Google Drive you can also do it on your computer so you have a choice you can either do the uh, PowerPoint presentations on your computer and leave it there on Google Drive and work with other people and then directly go into move note and move note will ask you to create a new move note and the new move note is PowerPoint that will be uploaded with your voice so what you're going to do is you're going to use your voice and the notes will appear as you speak or your PowerPoint presentation will appear as you speak I suggest you practice move note and then um, we'll sum it up next week when we talk about web quest this whole month is going to be for the web quest so you have a whole month to create your web quest and all the sessions will be hands-on like this one where you work and you show me what you did and then we work together are there any questions since we're nearing near the end any questions about got five minutes to go
I think it's really important to try to uh, get things done during the live sessions like this one because once you go away I won't be there to help you in the same way that I can here okay so these live sessions are really really important to uh, help and support you with the web quest so I presume you're working Tariq how are you doing don't be afraid to share your work. You can always delete. And just because it's published doesn't mean that the whole world is looking at it. Okay, nobody knows it's there. All right, it has to go into Google's search engines before anyone sees it. Okay, so try to feel comfortable about having your work out there, even if it's not finished. Okay, let me know if there are any questions before we close shop here. So we've got how many people are ready here? Let's see. Uh, Suzanne, I'm not sure if you got it or not. Let me check again. I think you did get it. Yes, you did. I see what you did here. I see you're on a blog and you have something called WebQuest introduction maybe you can try to add the other because I think what you did you created a post instead of a page from what I can see it's a post and not a page I see what you did you called it page two three four five okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna give the pages a name okay it's not a blog post it's a page so every page go into the page and edit page one you can call introduction I think you don't have page one page two is the task and so on okay I see the class was extended for some reason maybe because it was supposed to close and I wasn't here all right so you hear me all right, so again, uh, Josefina, for every page, edit and give it a name, okay? So you got to make page one because you don't have page one. You only have page two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, you heard me? Okay, no, but before, I'm not sure whether you heard me or not. All right, so um, Poonam, title, and a competitive, <laughs> as competitive markets. Wow, that sounds great. So your blog is the name of the web quest, okay? The blog is the name of your web quest. All right, I'm glad you can hear me, WizIQ. <laughs> All right, so share what you did in the WizIQ class, okay? And uh, in the course, in the course feed, okay? So go into the course feed in was IQ in this course and share your links all right so I'm looking forward to seeing your links there thank you very much everybody and um, I'll see you later on when we talk about the Moodle and the blocks and how to be a manager in a Moodle course all right so thank you very much everybody and then we have the opening of the Moodle MOOC, of Moodle MOOC 3 today. So lots of exciting things. See you later. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you for joining. There's my thank you. I forgot the last slide. Okay, so uh, the last slide is a thank you slide. Thank you. I hope you got something, Dr. Ramesh. I know you came in a bit late, but you can see the YouTube video recordings, and I think that would be helpful. Bye-bye.